Canon A one program. Go out and get yourself one now. Awesome camera, 35 millimeter. Comes with, usually comes with, 50 millimeter prime lens, 1.8 aperture, goes all the way up to 22. With that 1.8 aperture, it makes this lens really fast. You get a real, uh, you get a real shallow depth of field with it. Awesome lens. Has a nice shutter sound too. Do that for you. All right, some other features uh, that the Canon A1 program has is the program mode on the dial here. You can set you can set this to program, and you can set your aperture ring down here. You put it in the auto. This camera will actually set your aperture and set your shutter speed for you. So all you have to do is basically look through the viewfinder, frame your picture, and push the shutter. Now, I don't like shooting in automatic modes. It takes away the creativity. You're kind of limited on what you can take pictures of. So I keep my stuff in all manual. Even when I'm shooting with digital, it's all manual. Um, so on the lens here, again, your aperture rings down here on the bottom. This is a all manual focus lens. There, there's no autofocus, no nothing. So you have to manually focus. And I have noticed with this lens, um, it is kind of difficult to get something in focus. At least I think it is. Um, when you look through the viewfinder, there's a prism that's right in the middle of the viewfinder that's supposed to help. It's supposed to help you focus but I don't think it works that well. So, until you get used to it, it's, it's, a, it's a pain to learn how to use. Um, how you load the film in this thing? Over here, this is your, your film rewinder. You just pop this up, pull up a little bit more, and it pops the back of the camera open. This is where your film goes. Your film goes right in here. Canister sits over here, you drag the film across, across the shutter, and on the other side here, uh, this lever here controls this this little thing here, which pulls the film across, so you can you can advance from frame to frame. But anyways, when you're loading your film, you want to put it in, stretch it across, and there's little grooves that are cut out on this. You want to put the leader end of the film into one of those holes you want to make sure it catches and another thing you want to make sure is that the film is caught on the sprockets otherwise you're going to have a really hard time with this camera or <laughs> putting your film in this camera and getting it to advance um, so that's how that works so once you get your film in there you shut this click push that down and what you want to do after you get your film in, you want to know what speed it is because you want to set over here right underneath the film rewinder is, is if you're used to shooting with digital you have ISO well on, on um, it kind of works the same way on a film camera you have the ASA speed, it's the speed of the film and you want to dial that in over here so if you're shooting with you know 400 speed film you want to set this at 400. And what that does is it lets the light meter in this camera know what film you're shooting at so it's going to give you the proper the proper readings. So you're you're not going to be overexposed or underexposed. You're going to be kind of right on the money with it. So that's important. You want to make sure you have that set. Um, dial here. This is has your different your, your, all your shutter speeds and it goes from a thousandth of a second all the way down to you can you can put this in the bulb mode which means as long as you have your finger on this shutter and you have the shutter depressed the shutter will remain open so you want to use that at night or yeah definitely want to use it at night the camera also has a hot shoe mount for well, pretty much just for a flash, which I have for this, and it's, it's, it works out pretty nice. I was messing with it the other day. Pretty nice flash. So that's that's about it with this camera. Um, this right here is called they call it the Action Grip. 
is what is what they call it. But basically, all this thing is is you can unscrew this, and the battery the battery is, sits right down in there. So it doesn't really serve too too much of a purpose. So, but that's my Canon A E one. I'll have more videos up soon. I'm gonna do a slideshow with some of the pictures that I do with this. As soon as I go out and take some more pictures and, and get them put on the computer and everything. So stay tuned and I'll have more pictures for this.